I'm starting today's makeup look with a e.l.f. mineral infused face primer and the Cheeky Monkey Illuminated Perfecting Tint. This is a mineral based tinted moisturizer that has illuminating pigment for lighter coverage and sun protection. I like to mix it because it is very light and it works really well as a moisturizer just by itself as well. So I'm just applying that with my small sipple brush from e.l.f. And then I am taking a mix of my Fit Me makeup from Maybelline and my e.l.f. makeup. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face one more time, blending it all in with my stipple brush. Sentiment locked deep within this vector font Straight lines of love my heart beats slow My heart beats slow Next I'm going to be using my HD Lift Concealer by Elle. I'm just going to apply that into the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner. And I'm just going to blend this all in with my brush as well. Screen adults, your glow for me, your voice is cut by time and see my heart. Then I'm just going to finish it off with some pressed powder. I'm pressing the powder onto my face first and I'm then going to rub it all in to get rid of any excess powder. So that will create a perfect matte foundation which we will then enhance with some glowing and sparkling details. I'm just going to do my eyebrows here. You can totally skip that step if you have great eyebrows or if you do not want to do that. But I always like to do a little bit of extra work for my eyebrows because they are very light and very thin. And I just think that they add a great frame around my face. Beat slow, my heart beats slow. Memory can fool my mind. I love someone they left behind. My heart beats slow, my heart beats slow. Some said my heart grow. I feel the fate. Next thing is my ultra nude eye palette by Bobby Brown. So I'm just taking one of the neutral shades and I'm just going to apply them all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to take the sparkly lighter shade and I'm going to add that onto my eyelid. But to give, give it a nice little touch up I'm using this orangey peachy color. And I'm just going to apply that right onto the middle of my eyelid because it makes your look look really fresh. I am then using this brown color and I'm just going to apply that right into my crease like a triangle and then I'm just going to blend it all in. I have two different brushes. Um, they are basically pretty much the same but one is a little bit softer than the other that's why I'm changing it, them in between but all you want to create is a very nicely blended look so that you cannot see any sharp edges and it will just give you a really nice eye makeup look even with neutral colors. I'm just going back to the first neutral color that I used. I'm just going to apply that over my eyeshadow. This was always a trick that one of my teachers told us to do um, so that you can prevent any sharp lines. I'm just going to add some highlighter underneath my eyebrow bow and also into the inner corner of my eyes and then I'm just going to blend it all in. Next I'm going to be using the same brown color just to line my lower lash line. And this brush from Bobbi Brown is really great because it has two sides and I can always use the other side to blend everything in. And then I'm taking the darker color that I'm usually using for my eyebrows. 
and instead of using a liquid eyeliner I'm using this as an eyeliner because it's very neutral and very soft and I think it looks great on everyone. Next I'm just curling my eyelashes and I'm just going to apply a few coats of mascara. For this look um, I'm not going to add a lot of coats of mascara just to keep it very neutral. And I only have black mascara with me right now but a dark brown mascara would look really great as well. Next to contour my face I'm using L'Oreal's True Match in Cocoa. This is just a dark brown powder that I'm using to contour underneath my cheekbones. And you can just blend it all in. You can even blend it further upwards to create an oval shape of your face. And I'm just going to blend it all in with this big puffy brush. And then for blush, I chose this um, peachy color, which is actually a baked eyeshadow. But I just like it so much better for my cheeks because it has a very nice shimmery peachy color. And it makes your uh, face look really fresh. And I'm just adding a highlighter from Benefit. It's called What's Up. I'm just going to blend this all in above my cheekbone and above the blush. And a highlighter will create a beautiful, radiant, glowy looking skin. Because when the light hits your face, it will illuminate those parts of your skin. So that's why I'm adding a little bit underneath my brow bow. I'm adding a little bit onto my chin and on my nose as well. Then I'm just finishing this look off with some lipstick. I have a beige color from Sephora and I'm adding a little bit of a orange peachy color gloss up on my lips to finish it off. And then I'm just taking a little bit of my gloss onto my ring finger and I'm just adding that onto my cheeks as well. This is also a great alternative if you do not have any highlighter with you. So not to forget about the rest of my skin, I'm using this shimmery body lotion by Bath and Body Works and I'm just going to apply that all over the rest of my skin to perfect this look. So thank you so much for watching and happy holidays!